I just walked down from the monastery in Patmos. It's an impressive labyrinth of buildings clustered around the top of the mountain with the church out there. But everything is locked tight, even the church. It's, I would say it's overrated. There's nothing to see there. I can't believe that God's church, the church is locked tight, that the faithful cannot even go in, light a candle, saying a prayer. It's, it amazes me. So now I'm on my way to the cave of the apocalypse, St. John's cave, so-called, I hope. I hope it's a little better. We'll see. I'll let you know. But the valley is, is really beautiful in springtime. This is the cave. You might ask me, can I see the cave? <laughs> Duh. <laughs> but this is the cave. And they built a, <laughs> a chapel here or something. <laughs> I can't believe it. Where's the cave? Can I see it? <laughs> but this is it. In case you're curious, it's it's just a cave. <laughs> it's again overrated. So if you've never been or can come, don't feel bad. Save your money. There are more beautiful places in this world. Let me light a candle too. I'm not Catholic, but. And I pray for all of you. Thank you viewers for, for bearing with me the past year. This is for you. I pray that God will bless your every endeavor as you seek to draw closer to him, as you seek to serve him. I pray for peace in the world, especially peace in Syria, for all those Syrian refugees that they may one day soon return home. In Jesus' name. The thing with doing crazy things is once you've done it, you're not afraid anymore. So what happened? I was stuck in cars yesterday because the the sea was too choppy for the the uh, ferry to come to Patmos. So I took a later cargo f ferry, which left. When did it leave? I forgot. <laughs> Eight o'clock. That's right. From Kos. That's all right. Yeah, it's not that bad. But it didn't arrive here until. 12.30 in the morning and arriving at Patmos in that hour. It's not like we take so many things for granted, you know, things are open overnight where we are and uh, when there's no shortage of internet. There's always internet link everywhere. So what happened was I knew of always try to get the name of a a hotel close by. So I knew of that hotel, 12.30, it was dark. I found the hotel, except it was closed for renovation. Everything here closes, even the ATM closes because you know, there's no business, so they won't open till April when the tourist comes. It was closed, so what am I going to do? <laughs> One o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so you guess it. I laid on the marble slab put my things out and and slept there i didn't sleep at all this wasn't that chilly one thing about the hotel is it had a courtyard so the wind didn't come in at all but i heard it it was like Woo! oh man i said what is that noise it's the wind <laughs> blowing its head off anyway i didn't sleep a wink as i lay outside it wasn't that cold there was this mosquito 
bugging in my ear. I said, like, get away, <laughs> bite somewhere else, not in my ear. Anyway, I survived that. So my onward journey is it's easy. So I'm in Patmos, I'm going to Samos. It's an easy 10, 10.30 in the morning, that's easy. But from then on, it's gonna be a little tough. It's one of those early morning, early morning, three uh, departure, three in the morning. Wow. So I was thinking, if I could survive last night, I could survive anything now. So what I can do is find a ho hotel near the port. So set my alarm for 2.30 and then wake up, haul my luggage and myself to to the ferry port, take the ferry and be in, in my next destination in the morning. Right? Right.